We're back to the Total Tutors show on the Total Education Network, powered by the Beach Lifestyle Celebrity Segment. Again, go to the websites totaltutor.net and simplyg.com or join the challenge at wearethechallenge.com. GJ, my co host, GJ, how are you? Doing fantastic, Gil. Fantastic. All right, fantastic, GJ. I'm excited about our celebrity today. Yeah, well, our, our, our celebrity today is a uh, professional football player. Uh, he was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in 2009. He, uh, before that, he was played at the University of Maryland. And uh, he was born in uh, Cameroon, Africa. So I don't know how many uh, people from from Africa are in the NFL or have ever played in the NFL. So I know uh, that's a uh, select class. And uh, now he plays with the ball, uh, with the uh, I want to say Baltimore Colts because we interviewed Tom Maddy the other day. So the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, so uh, anybody that's listening, uh, uh, excuse me. So um, Moses Foku is on the line. So Moses, uh, he's here to talk also about his foundation and, and what's happening in his life, both on the field and off the field. So welcome to the show, Moses. Thank you for having me. Good morning, guys. Uh, good morning to you as well, Moses. And uh, I want to really go into specifically uh, looking at, let's go right uh, to why you started the foundation. Because, again, there's always a situation in, in someone's career, especially when you have a lot of things going on on the field, to figure out ways to help others and how you came up with your foundation. Because some football players, you know, are involved in a foundation, but this is your foundation and you've only been in the NFL a few years. So what made you want to decide to start a foundation? Uh, pretty much. It was just, you know, you know, it all came up to my whole journey coming into the NFL and, you know, uh, just being blessed with the opportunity to be in such a position. I, I knew that it was just, it was my duty just to give back as soon as I could. And, uh, after that, you know, after seeing that I that I that I made it to a couple years in the NFL, I, I knew that it was time for me to try to do something, and give back, and, and 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 it was my after my third year, I just came up with the uh, I knew I always wanted to give back, but I came up with the foundation, Route 53, and it's you know it's pretty much geared towards underprivileged kids in urban communities, and and uh, pretty much encouraging education, providing school supplies, running football camps. Just that was just my kind of way of just giving back for all the blessings that I've been that I've been given as, as a as an adolescent. And, you know, he's making it stand for myself. Yeah, I like uh, when I was reading up on your foundation, and especially GJ when they're ta- when they talk about the importance of education. As GJ knows, my, that's my main thing. And also um, at the Beach Lifestyle Media, we believe in education as well, right, G? Well, absolutely, and we're all you know we're, we're all students of some type, and and uh, obviously when the uh, the students ready, the teacher appears and. And uh, we've both been on both sides of the coin. And one, one thing I want to say is that we're talking about Moses' uh, 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 foundation, and it's the Route 53 Foundation. And uh, so it's everybody listening, it's the Route 53 Foundation. And, and uh, where, where can they find information on the Route 53 Foundation? Oh, uh, it's, very easy. it's a website. It's, a, it's on the website, and uh, the word root is spelled R-O-O-T. And then the number 53, foundation.org. So it's a little, it's a little funky, it's a little different. It's more like the roots, roots under the ground instead of the route. And what I like, uh, what I was going to say, Moisa, Moses, is uh, especially what I like about the foundation when I was uh, researching it is you look at the overall development and well-being of children growing up in urban areas because you see that they uh, don't have all the uh, tools ready to be successful in education, do they, when they, they start? Exactly, exactly. And, and, and that kind of hit, that kind of hit me hard because I felt like I was a product of that environment myself growing up. And. And I knew how important just being prepared and having the right tools, how, how, how important that was for a kid and how, and how that would help him in a classroom, you know, just to, be, just to be prepared as other counterparts across the world so or across the country. So that, that, that was definitely one point that I, that I felt that I, that, I, that I wanted to hit. And, and that's definitely so important because we see, especially for students going into kindergarten, a lot of times in urban areas, they're far, far behind their counterparts in the suburban schools. So if you yep. can give those tools to people, Moses, that's awesome. I mean, and, and what you, you get this because I, I see it from just how your foundation is rooted. That, that's a good point in a lot of ways that you're able to really uh, focus on the overall well-being of the children. Yes. 
Yeah, definitely. And GJ, he has a big thing coming up uh, tomorrow, and he's really excited about that. So uh, I, I know when we talk about events, and GJ and I talk about an event, we're going to be out in L.A. in March, and we're really excited about uh, a bunch of different things, trying to help some foundations out there, because GJ also has a foundation called the Mission G Foundation. G, isn't that true? Correct. Mission G Foundation, you know, it started out really to help entrepreneurs, but what's happened is because of all of the different people that we've had on our show, and the relationships that we've built is that um, we want to help some of those foundations. So I'm sure there's some things we can do together to help each other with each other's foundations. And, and so we're, we're, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the event tomorrow night and then also how can uh, our listeners get, get involved because uh, they can obviously donate money, but what else can they do to help the Route 53 Foundation? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh we have an event tomorrow where we're donating. We're starting off the year right by donating supplies to uh, local middle schools in Indianapolis. And uh, we're pretty much donating mass supplies or chemical kits, you know, to these two middle schools, these two magnet middle schools, just to try to have, you know, to try to try to aid with their with their supplies and having them have the right tools to, to have a strong foundation, a strong education. And, uh, you know, if people like to get involved, you know, you can always go to the website, ROOT53 Foundation. Of course, you can always donate. Uh, the, the, my, 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 my lady Jane, who runs it, you can always email her, try to get in contact with her, try, uh, try to get more involved. And, and we have a lot of things coming up in this year, such as there's more things in February, more things in March. And, uh, you know, it, it's a moving, it's a moving thing we, we're doing. It's progressing and, uh, I'm very excited about it. We have a lot, a lot of things going on, such as trying to build computer labs in, uh, in certain cities, uh, running football camps. So, you know, promoting education. We have, we have a lot of things going on, so just go to the website and uh, get in touch with, with Jane, and, and we can move forward from there. Also, Moses, what else is going on uh, specifically? Like you said, you're working in Indianapolis, but you said this is this is a national movement, not just in Indianapolis, correct? Exactly. Uh, for for right now, we're 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 based out of my hometown in Maryland, where I, where I grew up at, and in any other NFL city that I'm playing that I'm currently playing in. And then we're and then, and then we're moving from there and getting going bigger and bigger. So, you know, we're we're just a new foundation. We started last year and we're and we're and we're, and we're growing. We're growing steadily. Well, that's fantastic, and always the help is so important, GJ, isn't it? I mean, because especially when you start a foundation, as GJ will talk about as well, there's so much more to it, and 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 that that's one thing as him being an entrepreneur. It's kind of you're wearing Moses also an entrepreneur hat as well, GJ. Isn't that true? That people who own foundations, same thing. Well, absolutely, and, and obviously there's a lot of do's and don'ts for a foundation, as, I, as I've learned. And so, you know, to run it correctly, the other thing is is that, you know, keeping the cost down so that the most of the dollars gets to the end result. Um, exactly. And, and, and obviously in this case, you know, it's, it's the kids and the school so they can benefit and help the kids. And obviously, you know, um, I'm, I'm passionate about helping kids as well, and, and so I, I applaud you for, you know, one is recognizing a need, two, utilizing your platform to give back, and then your your connections and, and, and resources as well. So that says a lot about you as a person and, and as a player. And, and so I applaud you for that. And then, um, you know, as far as, you know, the, the Route 53 Foundation, obviously, it's, it's, it, it, we focus on Maryland and Indiana, and it's, it's growing. So, um what what are some of the things that you've learned on the field that you've been able to apply into your your national organization? Things that I learned on the field. Yeah, taking right, from the field. Been... Yeah, to your yeah. to your foundation. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say I really learned too much on the field that applied to the foundation. I just I, I just take the motivation and, and and the positioning, like I think, like you said, that I, that I've been able to be in. To, to 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 even make me work harder for the foundation because I, I know that that had it not been for my my ability to be you know to play football to be in this position or to be in the NFL I wouldn't even have been able to touch so many people in in such a short period of time so I just use that as motivation to continue to do my best on the field to continue to try to give back and just to be a better man every day. All right, Moses. Uh, let's continue to this conversation. A lot of ways. Uh, one thing, when you're because I'm looking at when you're talking about the overall development and uh, and well-being of children, what have you gathered since you've been involved in the organization to see the things that they're lacking? Once you finally got your hands right into this uh, thing, you said, "I need to help. I know I need to help." That once you learned, 
you must have saw some oh. really interesting. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, from what I've learned, especially, uh, especially from the kids that I think I'm trying to help. Because, you know, I, I did some studies, you know, just like the kids who have the free lunches. Like, these kids are 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 not are not up to their counterparts across the country. Like, they they don't have they, they don't have the guidance. We we we, we try we even try to do kind of some type of mentorship or some you know trying to teach them skills. Like, they 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 they're, they're not like I said they're not they're not as equal or or as prepared as their other counterparts across the country because they're lacking. The schools, or the, or, 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 or they're lacking the, the, um, the confidence, or, or whatever it may be. So, I, so, I, and, and I remember when I was a kid that, that I even went through kind of a, a program like it's where, where they went and helped us buy, a kind of a shopping spree to help us buy clothes or, 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 or supplies. And, and I, and I just saw what that did for my confidence and, and, and for me, and it just brought me, you know, made me feel better about myself. And, and, and that's what I, that's what I see in these kids. Who are out there? They, they 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 feel unprepared. They feel like they don't have the right the right tools, and therefore their their confidence in school is not that high. Well, so not, for me, for, for me, I'm, I'm just trying to kind of even the playing field the best way I can. Well, most definitely, and I think that that's what you're trying to do. Is you know that they are they get they're far behind their counterparts in certain ways, and that they're they're as capable as anyone else, as we've been gathering. Exactly. And one thing that you might think about with your foundation, there was a study on uh, out in Education World that talked about specifically that kids that even are performing high well in school that are in uh, poorer areas are not going to college. So if that's something that you can put in the focus of your foundation to make sure that these kids, especially that are performing really well in high school, mm-hmm. can attend college, that'll be huge. Okay. That's a really good thing to check into and look at. Uh, so, GJ, um, uh, first of all, I wanted to with yeah. Moses. So, uh, a really successful year uh, with Indianapolis this year, yeah. with uh, compared to last year's team. And uh, I know that you you have a lot to build on for next year, don't you? You definitely do. Uh, I got traded to the Colts this past season uh, from in, from from Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, and I had a pretty good season. Uh, the team did well. We we we, we went to the playoffs. And um, you know we faced a lot of adversity, but it, it was definitely a, a, a pleasing outcome for, for for such a young team and, and for, for for the things that they had to go through. No, most definitely, most definitely. And uh, GJ, that was an inspiring, inspiring story with the coach, wasn't it, G? Very, very inspiring, and 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 like uh, Moses said, you know, a young team that was you know that overachieved the expectations of everyone, and then obviously you got the underlying stories and. And uh, you know, and obviously you had the you know the the, the new rookie quarterback that definitely shined, and and so a lot of, a lot of adversity that turned into a very positive. So I know you I know you all have a great you know a great outlook, and so uh, I'm excited to be uh, cheering for you, Moses, and watching you on the field. Um, one of the questions that we ask each of our guests is is, is what is your 90 day challenge, which is. What are, what what's uh, your goal over the next ninety days, both for yourself and for your foundation, uh, that you'd like to achieve? Oh, ninety day goal. We are we are we are closely approaching making a, making a deal with one of the libraries to to uh, to make to, to start or to build our first our first media library, and and I, and, and that's going to be one of my ninety. That's going to be one of my goals within the next three months. And uh, off the field. I, uh, I'm a free agent right now. I should be wait. I'm, I'm just waiting to find out what team I should be playing with on next year. So that that should that should also be on my 90 day goal. <laughs> any uh, thought process or any teams courting you right now that you can say or not? No, no, not really. I, I think the chat is pretty down right now. There's a lot of things going on with the Pro Bowl, uh, the Senior Bowl, the uh, the Combines coming up in February, and um, and the Super Bowl. So. Uh, it's not the time to be to be to be talking right now, but it should be happening. And I think in a, in a couple few in the next few weeks or months. Well, we hope to have you back on again, uh, probably in ninety days, to tell us what's going on with the foundations, other things that you're promoting. Because of being an education show, we're able to get it out all over the world about the great things that you're doing, Moses, and that's fantastic. So, again, for our our listeners out there, where can we find more information? First of all, on the foundation, and then yourself. Yeah, definitely. More information on the foundation, you can go down to www.root53foundation.org, and that is R-O-O-T-53foundation.org. 
And uh, and you can find out things about the foundation and myself on there or not. If not, you can go down to the Indianapolis Colts website and learn more about Moses Foku. And also, you can follow you on Twitter, which I tweeted you out last night. And thanks for the response. Appreciate that. Exactly. Yep. You can find me on Twitter at Moses Foku. And that's M O I S E, last name F O K O U. All right. Well, thanks again, Moses, for calling the program. Really enjoyed our conversation. And best of luck with the foundation. I love the idea of what you're trying to do. And wherever it continues to grow, uh, the Toll Education Network and Beach Lifestyle Media will be there to help you out any way possible. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. All right. Take care. All right. You're listening to the Total Tutor Show, uh, powered by the Beach Lifestyle Celebrity Segment. And we'll be back in just a moment.